Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Olua Tobi and on this channel we do food, lifestyle and music. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make this very yummy, very nice, very tasty, very spicy okra soup, otherwise known as elastic pork. This is a banging soup, like this is one of the soups that Yoruba people make, like a banging soup, okay? It's, yeah just wanted to put this out there if you are new to the channel you are absolutely welcome please subscribe i post new videos every week let's jump right into today's video so the appropriate measurements and all the ingredients to make this yummy elastic pour will be in the description box below but just for you know just for content yes i'm going to be listing some of it out so we have some pomo some goat meat and crayfish and some fish and the elastic oil and pepper and yeah don't worry all the appropriate measurements will be in the description box below okay please if you're enjoying the video please don't forget to like share subscribe if you're new to the channel please subscribe go and tell people in fact just pause here pause now and go and click that subscribe button okay before you come back to continue pause and then click that share button and go and share with your friends and family on their whatsapp group just share it let people know about this channel okay i'm waiting for you you have come back okay you're welcome so what i've done just now in the video was just to cook all the protein so i cooked um the pomo the goat's meat and i cooked it till it was very tender i put in some seasoning cubes some um um pepper garlic and onions that i grated in together and then i cooked it together with this um the raw meat and pomo and guys when i tell you that it changes the taste of your food damn i'm telling you again it changes the taste of your food i'm telling you again it changes the taste of your food okay so when it was ready i just set it aside and in another pan i added in some um palm oil so you need a wider pan for this that is why I changed it. You can always use the same pot if you just want to do a one pot recipe. That's great. But you can always use another pot. You just have to wash it. It's not hard. Okay? It's not hard. You wash it. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is just adding... I just added in some palm oil. And then I let it heat up a little. And then I added in some fresh tomatoes and pepper. So normally what you do is just adding like grated pepper and onions but I had like tomato and pepper and I didn't want the tomato to waste but the ratio of pepper to tomatoes was um, higher pepper and just a little bit of tomatoes okay and so I just did that fry a little while and I added in some seasoning cubes and then I let it fry very well and then the next step is to add in my cooked um, pomo and goat meat with the sauce and everything that I used to cook it both the stock and the meat I added it into this pan and then I gave everything a good mix and I let it cook for a little while so after about three minutes I added in my washed crayfish you could use prawns you could use shrimps it's just that I don't like like seafood and yeah that's why I don't have those in here so you can always go crazy with your meals and you know do what you, do you girl or do you guy anyone so I just added in some washed um, crayfish and then I let that cook for a little while and then I added in my fresh seasoned um, um, fish so I didn't put a lot of seasoning in fact if I in fact let me just say the truth I didn't put any seasoning and it was banging but it depends on the quantity you are making I already proportioned my seasoning cubes and everything I put in it into the um, pot the pot so that when I'm tasting it when I'm adding the okra and everything everything is heating right it's not salty it's just very tasty yeah so when after a little while i just added in the fish and then i let that cook for about three minutes and then i removed it because i was going to be introducing into the pot my okra grated okra so i would advise that you divide the okra in two batches one that you have grated really well and then the one that maybe you could just slice up a bit just to give it some volume and yeah 
in the in the pot or in your plate yes so i'm just removing the fish now so that when i add in the okra and i start to turn um, like to stir everything together the fish will not break that's why i'm removing the fish from the pot okay so now i'm adding in my okra so when you add in the okra it depends on how thick you want your soup to be or how light you want it to be so i like mine just in the middle so i added just a little bit of water after i added in the um, okra and that's why it's looking loose now in this um, clip here so i let that cook to for about two minutes and please ensure you do not cover your pot when you add in the okra if not it's going to change the color of your pot of your okra and after two minutes and or two to three minutes i added in the fish and then i let that cook for about a minute just one minute okay and then i turned it up and i served it and i enjoyed this with swallow it was banging guys oh it was yummy okay it was good it was lovely it was good guys if you recreate this recipe please tag me on instagram comment down below how it went for you and then please share it with your friends and your family and subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you in the next video bye